Hey Church, my name is Anna Clifford. I am from our Chester campus and it's my joy to bring you your devotion this morning. I just wanted to um, point you in the direction of a passage that God has been speaking to me about recently, which is in Matthew 25 verse 14, and it's the parable of the talents or the parable of the bags of gold. Now I won't read it today, you can read that in your own time, but I just wanted to highlight the story which says that a master who is exceedingly wealthy is going on a trip and he leaves some of his wealth in the charge of three of his servants. Now he gives them each a huge amount of money to look after and invest in his own business ventures. And we see when he returns what the servants have each managed to do with the money that was entrusted to them. The third servant, um, unlike his first two servants, was unable to make any money. Why? Because he buried it in the ground. Now this servant was afraid of the master's reaction should he uh, lose money. Uh, whereas the first two servants were able to double the amount of money that they were entrusted with. And you'll see from this passage that the responses to these servants were very different. God has really been speaking to me about what it is that he's entrusting me with. Now I know that we've spoken about this passage before in terms of finances and gifts. However, God was really speaking to me about the gift of our salvation and the gift of the good news that we can hold dear in our hearts. What do we do with that gift? Always burying it in the ground to keep it secure for ourselves. As the Great Commission tells us, I like the version that it says in Mark 16, verse 15, it says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Now, what is your world? Who are the people in your world? And I don't think it's necessarily talking, although it does include, you know, foreign countries as in the world. I want to perhaps just encourage you to think who is in your world, who is it that you come across in your day-to-day -day lives, because that is the world that he's talking about, including in this verse and all creation. Um, I would perhaps encourage you to think about whether there are non-believers in your, in your world, such as the your mums at the school gate, or whether it's your colleagues that you work with. Maybe it's a family member that's a non-believer. Who is in your world that this Great Commission is encouraging you to go and share the good news with? It can feel hard, can't it? The people that you're doing day-to-day -day life with to suddenly start preaching at them. However, one tip that I would give you, and you will receive lots of tips over this, of this fortnight of my mission, my interest. One advice that I would give you is make use of the Christmas services that Audacious are really good at putting on. These are great productions, a great chance to hear the gospel in a really relevant and fresh way. And I'd encourage you to use those services as an invitational to invite your friends to um, and see what God will do. Because quite often it's stepping out in faith, isn't it? And being ready and willing to not bury it in the ground, but to invest it and share it and spread it. Because that's what we're being told to do. So that is my encouragement to you today. God's really been speaking to me on the importance of why we're doing what we're doing and what this life is all about. And it's not something for us to bury in the ground and keep safe for ourselves. It's something that he is calling us and challenging us to go and share. So I pray that you have a good day and I pray that as we enter into this Christmas season, um, that that would be an encouragement that you'd carry with you, church. Have a great day. Bye bye.